David was anointed and you would think that the anointing would immune him from the challenges of life. You are joking. That was when the trouble increased because Saul sought to, what, to kill him. There was a point he threw a spear. You would think the anointing would what? Immune him, but that's not the way it works. That million dollar mansion you want is not going to come what? Cheaply, but it's worth fighting for. That marriage is worth fighting for. Your ministry, your education is worth what? Fighting for. Believers like to think, like I said, that because they are believers and they are a child of God, they are so special, they need to be immune from any challenges of life. It doesn't work that way. Men who are unshakable don't emerge like that. So our prayers are like, Lord, take me out from the fire. The scripture says, no, when you pass through the fire, I will what? Be with you. No, I will not take you out. I will not take you out. I will not take you out. How do you think gold is done? They hit it to a certain level and it begins to melt. How do you think the blacksmith, they do swords? Iron striking iron. It gets to the, the peak of the heating point. Then he hits it again with the hammer. Every hitting, every impact stretches it. Then the sword is coming out. Then you are emerging as unshakable. So anytime you are praying, Lord, anoint me. I want more. What you are saying is, Lord, crush me more. So next time you pray for anointing, know what you are asking for. And this morning, we're going to go into the blacksmith house. Are we here? That Lord will shake us and bring us to a new realm where the world would appreciate you. Are we here? Metal to metal. Spirit to spirit. Spirit to spirit. If you want to grow, leave your comfort zone. If you are listening to any preacher for two, three months and they are not challenging you, they are destroying your destiny. Don't waste time on them. I don't care who it is. For two months consistently, there is no change in your level. Spiritually or physically, you are joking. Don't stay in one place for long. It doesn't matter what you also see. Because there are realms of glory. They saw on the Mount of Transfiguration. And they said, Lord, let's, let's build tabernacles and just stay here. Say, so you are joking. You live here, you die. No glory is seen at the base of a mountain. Jesus said, let's climb up. Let's climb back. 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 Some of us, we are too comfortable. What has challenged you to finish this year? We are too comfortable. 